welcome to today class today we are going to discuss on isometric projection or isometric view here we are going to solve one problem on combination of solids the problem is a cylinder of base diameter 30 mm and the axis 50 mm is placed on its base centrally on the top of a square slab of side 50 mm and the thickness 20 mm draw the isometric view of the combination of solids this is the given problem so now we are going to draw the isometric view for which i am going to explain first demonstration coming into this another uh, the principal planes here in the bottom we have this square slab whose type uh, it has 50 mm square and thickness is 20 mm. this is 20 mm thickness one above that we are going to place the cylinder now we want to draw the isometric projection of the combination of these two solids so how we are going to draw the isometric projections <coughs> so for which first step we need to draw x y reference line as similar to the projection of solids what we studied so first draw the x y line like this this x y reference line now i am going to draw the top view for this combination of solids first you consider the front and the top view of this combination of solid you need to draw for which first i will uh, take the uh, bottom square so for which i am taking that 50 mm side so and the height is 20 mm i am going to draw the front view for the square slab first front view of the square slab i am going to draw this is the height 20 mm and the side is we taken as 50 mm right this is actually my front view of this square slab right corresponding top view i am going to draw now draw the projections right i am going to draw the corresponding top view of for this particular squares right so this is my top you need to draw the square for 50 mm side you need to draw the square of 50 mm side so this is the bottom of bottom one i drawn the top on the front view now i am going to draw the front view of the cylinder so for which i am going to mark here the center point right and draw the top view of this circle top view of this cylinder so it will be seen as the circle so i am going to draw the top view of for this particular cylinder right we are going to draw the top view of this particular cylinder now for the diameter 30 right for the diameter is given for 30 mm i am going to draw the top view for this particular cylinder right so this is the first step now i i am going to mark this is my center point this is my center point from the center point right this is my top view of this particular cylinder it is placed on top of this square slab top of this square slab right right now i am going to draw the corresponding front view for which i need to draw the projection line here right and these two edges i need to draw here the height of this the given uh, cylinder is 50 so i am going to draw one 50 mm elevation i am going to draw this cylinder i am placing this cylinder on the square slab placing this cylinder on the square slab so this is my this is my front view for the cylinder so first you need to draw the front and the top view of this 
combination of symbols. Now it's over. Now I am going to draw the isometric view. For which first I am going to draw the bound reference line here. Right? I mark one point. From that point, I am going to draw two 30 degree lines. 30 degree lines on both left and right. One 30 degree line here. For 50, I am going to draw the bottom of this uh, <coughs> square slab. First, I am going to draw. So, you can take 50 here. And another 30 degree inclination, I am going to draw. Another 50 degree. Right? Now take the height. Height is height of the slab is 20 millimeter from which I draw vertically. So these are the two isometric axes, both are 30 degree inclinations. So from this point, from this point, again I am going to draw vertical line for the height 20 millimeter. I need to join now, right? I need to join now. Similarly, I draw the vertical line from this particular end for 20 millimeter height. For 20 millimeter height, I want to draw this. I am going to join. I am going to draw the one parallel line from this isometric axis. I am going to get like this. Right? Now draw one parallel line from this particular end. Right? Parallel line. Parallel to this, I draw one. Similarly, if this is parallel, I am going to move from now connect these two points. Now connect these two points. So this is the way I am going to draw the isometric of this square slab. One portion is over. Now we are going to draw this top one cylinder. So for which I need to mark the center point. For which I know this is the center point. Now, the top, uh, the part, uh, we have this uh, uh, <coughs> cylinder. So, we have the two ellipses we are going to draw. For drawing the circle, circle will be seen as the ellipse. So, first draw one part of ellipse and on upon we need to draw another top. So, th this is the point and another one point for the height, whatever the height it is given as 50 millimeter. So, I am going to mark here. This is actually my center point positions. Okay. Now, I am going to draw the bottom of this. So, bottom of this uh, cylinder, uh, cylinder portion, it will enclose by one square. Right. This is square for my cylinder portion. That means the circle. Right. The circle is enclosed by one square. I want this square. Right. This dimensions I want. Now I am going to redraw this square in this particular top. So these four points I need. You measure this distance, you need to draw parallel to this line, right? Parallel to this, I need to draw. Right? And parallel to this, I need to draw another line, right? And parallel to this, I need to draw. This portion, right? And parallel to this edge, I need to draw. So, I draw one square which encloses this uh, particular circle. Now, I am going to draw this circle in four center four point center method. For which, I need to mark the center point for these four sides, right? And take this is my first center. This is my second center is to be used. Now I need to join the opposite corners like this. Opposite two corners with the center one. Similarly, these two corners will be joined with center two. Right? I need to draw. Right. Now the meeting points. Sorry. This is actually the center, right? The meeting points is to be marked as this is my third center 
this is my fourth center. These four points are used to draw the uh, ellipse. So, take one center. Now we need to join these two points by smooth curve. By drawing one smooth curve. By compass, you need to draw. Similarly, take two at center, join these two points. Right? Join these two points. By compass. Similarly, take four at center, you need to join. It will come like this. And take three at center, you need to join these two points. By compass, you need to. Now I get the bottom portion of this particular cylinder. The bottom portion taken. Similarly, you need to draw the top portion because I know this is a point, right? So for which we need to draw another uh, square corresponding to the same dimensions. So already we know this point is to be projected to here. And this point is to be projected, right? This is my center point. Now I am going to draw parallel to this, right? Take this height, right? Similarly, this height is to be marked here. I need to join here. I need to join this line and join this line, right? Because I want to draw the top circle, right? Top circle, right? It will be also seen as the ellipse. So you need to draw another square because the circle will be seen by using four center matching. Now I draw the same uh, circle here. Now we need to mark the center points, right? Here also you can have this is one center, this is one, another center. In order to get another two centers, we need to join these two lines, right? We can join these two points for getting the midpoint for this particular top circle. So, I have these two points, right? Now, take two as center, you need to join, right? You need to join this by the compass. Take one as center, you need to join. Right, similar. Right, this portion. Similarly, now this is the third center. This is the fourth. Now take four as center. You need to join. This. And take three as center. You need to join. Now this is the top portion of this circle. Right. I turn the cylinder. The top one to bottom thing. We need to connect by one. Tangent line. One tangent line like this. This gives the this gives the outer line, the generator line of this particular cylinder. Now I am going to talk whatever the required portion. So here I want the top circle it will be targeted by using your HP pencil, right? You need to dot the top portion of this particular circle. It is fully visible, right? It is fully visible. And the side portion you need to draw. This is the tangent to our cylinder. And the bottom portion only visible for this particular cylinder. This bottom portion only visible. You need to join here. Right. So now I able to draw the isometric view of this cylinder. So remaining thing, the bottom slab, only up to this it will be visible. These parts are uh, behind our cylinder, it is not needed. So I need to target the remaining portion of the square slab. We draw in the bottom. I need to draw by tar. HV pencil, right? I need to draw, draw this by HV pencils, right? You need to draw this thick line, right? For the bottom piece. Up to this portion only visible, right? Up to 
this portion only is so now i completed the isometric view of the combination of this particular solid okay right so quick review for this particular problem the combination of solids first draw the front view and the top view right for the combination of solid first i consider this is the slab first turn the slab top and um, front view then you draw the front and top view for this particular cylinder this combination is care we turn by using one two 30 degree incline lines to 30 degree incline lines then you first draw the bottom of this square slab and upon which you need to draw this bottom portion of the cylinder by using force center method when you extend this you draw the top portion of this after completion of this bottom square slab in isometric we need to draw this for which we want two circles one on the bottom another on top here we use the four center method for constructing these two circles now we need to join these two circle by tangent line then you get the uh, um, cylinder uh, in uh, isometric this rear portion will not be visible similarly square slab this uh, this portion is not visible visible portion only you need to mark then you can mark the dimensions for this particular combination of some thank you